Hey everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and in this doll comparison video, I'll be comparing the five available Animator Mini Playset Collection. Um, I've already done reviews on Elsa and Anna, so go check that video out. But in this video, I wanted to show you real quick the three other ones that are out right now. You have Cinderella, Ariel, and Jasmine, along with Elsa and Anna. So we're just going to look at them all, kind of um, see which uh, one set that we like the most, maybe. Um, I have some questions from Max to answer, which I hope you guys will answer along with in the comments down below. Um, just a cr real quick reminder to any new viewers to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on toy videos and doll comparisons. So yeah, um, I'm going to unbox them all and then we'll get right into this doll comparison. So I guess I'll start this doll comparison off with their smallest little accessory, which here are all their combs. As you can see, they have the same design, just in different colors. And if you want to hurry up and guess, pause it and guess which comb belongs to which princess, you can. But um, starting off from this side, the left there's Cinderella, Ariel, Jasmine, Anna, and finally on the far left is Elsa's comb. So here are the sort of inanimate object accessories that each doll set comes with. And this is Cinderella's set. You got the little tub for washing her dog. And then you have a shampoo and conditioner bottle and a little scrubbing butt brush and here's Ariel's little accessory that is like a shell chariot and there is a little seahorse that she comes with that can pull the chariot but I'm going to be going over pets slash sidekicks um, in a minute here and here is uh, uh, um, Jasmine's accessories uh, she has a lot of different little accessories that I think are mainly for Raja, her tiger. You have this awesome little um, house, but it's only Raja really fits into it. And then you have Raja's food bowl and a golden brush, as well as this purple and gold cushion where um, either Jasmine or Raja could sit on. I kind of wish they made this out of like a fabric, you know, like a real cushion. It's hard plastic. And here is Anna's accessories. She comes with a little doll, a sleigh that Sven can pull, and also a bunch of carrots that would be for Sven also. And here's Elsa's accessories. She comes with this cool ice slide, a little banjo that I think is mostly for Olaf to play. A little tropical drink also I think is for Olaf. A little doll which would be for Elsa. And a little summer hat for Olaf as well. Which I think is interesting on these accessories. Um, for the most part, I think most of the accessories fit the companions, sidekicks, pets, uh, more than the actual princess. Okay, next up, I'll show you each set's little pets or sidekicks that they have. And um, here's Cinderella's set. She has her little dog. Um, I think the dog changes into the, um, the carriage driver, if I'm correct. I'm not sure, but you know, little hound dog and this dog is fuzzy, flopped, and has a bobble head, as you can see. Very cute. And then the two little mice, uh, Gus Gus, and I forget the other mice's name, mouse's name, but I love that they have that glittery clothes. Very, very cute. And here's Ariel's set. She comes with this little cute starfish that has a little happy face. It's all glittery, as you can see. Sebastian, and then Flounder. Flounder is very glittery as well. And then this adorable seahorse to pull the little chariot. And the seahorse actually has real hair that you can brush. 
it reminds me um in the old my um littlest not little the little mermaid <laughs> Yes, I can speak. The Little Mermaid cartoon that they had, I think it was out in the 90s, but there was like an episode where she tamed a seahorse and it was like her little steed. I think it's a different color than this one, but that's what it reminds me of. So she comes with a lot of different little friends. And then Jasmine, of course, comes with Raja, her pet tiger, which I love Raja is so glittery and pretty it has little bobble head is super adorable and then here's Anna's little companions we have Sven of course and then we have two little rock trolls there and then Elsa comes with an Olaf companion unfortunately he does not stand on his own that's why I have this little ice slide behind him to like give him some support so he can stand up so you guys can see him fully but he is caked in glitter okay and here's a quick look at each of the dolls here's Cinderella she has this beautiful blue dress and blue shoes on that kind of allude to her older um, ball gown so I think maybe this is like before her um, Cinderella's father died and she was taken care of by her stepmother because she looks a little more fancy. And here's a look at Ariel. Very, very cute. I love how they added the glitter um, to the tail and the different accessories on the different dolls. Like they each have some sort of glitter in their outfit. Now Ariel is very difficult to stand straight up like the rest. Um, so she is sitting in her little carriage there. But I just wanted to let you guys know, whoops, there goes Cinderella. Um, this is how her tail is. It's like a sheath skirt that has flippers on the end. It's not an actual tail. She does have legs underneath, which um, Unfortunately, she doesn't come with, like, an outfit. Like, you could take off her tail and pretend she's, like, a little human. Um, but she doesn't have any sort of, like, pants or skirt to go with that. Which, maybe that's something the Disney Store is going to do in the future. Release extra outfits for these little animator dolls. That would be cool. And here's little Jasmine in her turquoise outfit. Uh, I love that they gave her her little pointy shoes. So cute. Uh, her hair is awesome. I'll turn her around real quick so you can see. Very glossy, very black, and sort of like in her adult version uh, hairstyle. So she is really, really cute. And here is Anna, how she appeared in the Frozen movie when they were young toddlers. And here is Elsa, very show accurate to when she was growing up, the first part of the Frozen movie, and how she looked. Okay, so now I'm going to go over some of these questions. And first question is, and remember, you can answer along in the comments below, which princess makes the cutest mini animator doll? In my personal opinion... This is all just my opinion. It might differ from you or anybody else, but personally, mm, oh man, this is really hard. Mm, the one that I think is cutest is Jasmine, I think. I really love her long, dark hair and her outfit, and she's just super adorable anyway. Okay, next question. Which playset has the coolest and cutest pet or sidekick. So my personal favorite out of all of them, I think is going to be uh, Flounder. He's really cute and I love how glittery he is. But I also really love Raj too. So it's a tie between those two. I'm a sucker for glitter. Anything glittery I love pretty much. And which playset do I think has the coolest accessories? Um, hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to go with Elsa on this one. I really like the ice slide as well as the little um, accessories for Olaf. 
Unfortunately, I really wish they had made Olaf with both of his feet um, so you could have him standing up without any sort of, you know, um, um, you know, <laughs> thing to lean him on. Uh, sorry about that. I lost my train of thought for a second. Um... Okay, and I think that pretty much wraps it up for those specific questions. Um, overall, I think my favorite set, completely my favorite set, might be um, Jasmine, actually. Which is surprising, because she's not actually my favorite princess. She's really cool, don't get me wrong. But I do like other princesses more than her. But for this set, I really love Between Her and Raja. And Raja's little accessories. It's like so much glitter, I just love it. Um... So, yeah, that wraps it up for the questions. Um, some points that I had in mind to say about these mini play sets are that I think I like this size better than the actual big, uh, the big animator dolls, just because I think it's great for collecting and storage, and they are less expensive than the big animator dolls, and you still get that awesome animator doll look in the face and in the accessories and clothes. I love the style, I, the cute, cutesy style of how they made the, um, the little companion pets. <clears throat> and I think they're also really great for kids to play with. Uh, you can have a lot of fun making up stories with these and with the accessories. And also, if you might be a little bit older, it's great for photo shoots, making up little scenarios and taking photos of them. And they also uh, play great with other smaller toys like these elves, My Little Pony, Shopkins, um, anything around that range work really well with these dolls. So you can have a lot of fun interacting different toy lines with your favorite princesses and companions and pets. And overall, they're great and they're so, so cute. <clears throat> Another thing I wanted to say, I don't know what lines they're going to come out with next or they have planned or anything like that. This is just me saying what I hope for and I hope to see, I really want Pocahontas because her animator her big animator doll is so cute i think she would be adorable in this little set and uh, her little raccoon and hummingbird with her would be so so cute so i really want to see pocahontas and um i think M mulan is the next one i want to see really badly because i want to see a mushu in this adorable little set with the little mushu dragon so so cute and maybe they would give her her horse as well that'd be cool and um other than princesses i really hope they come out with the boys in the animator set in this little mini set um i don't know if they are because with anna they gave anna sven which would be something you would give with kristoff so i really hope at some point in the future they decide to have mini animator print sets that would be cool so yeah like i said leave comments down below telling me what you think and also make sure to thumbs up and like this video if you like disney princesses and finally if you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my toy videos and also check me out on facebook instagram and twitter i'll be posting pictures um, I want to take so many pictures with these because they're so cute. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!